let's pray. Ali <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, once again we call upon your name this morning. We call you Father because you have begotten us in Christ Jesus. You have given us the spirit of adoption by which we call you Lord, Abba Father this morning. We bow down before thee and we worship thee once again. We thank you for your great faithfulness, O God, in the midst of us. From the time we gathered in this place, we have experienced your great mercies and your great faithfulness. We thank you for the cloud and the pillar of fire before us and over us. We thank you for your presence of God that is before us and with us. Lord, we bless thee once again and bow down before thee and bless thee. Lord, we thank you for your brought us thus far by your grace. Lord, we thank you for calling us up to the mountain. That in these seasons we may be with you, God, and continue to maintain that relationship you, with you, Lord, in those heavenly places. Amen. Father, we thank you for all that you have spoken to our hearts. Lord, we thank you for opening our spiritual eyes in some measures. Helping us, Lord, to hear thy voice. And also to set our hearts upon those things you have shown unto us. For God help us is our humble prayer. That our hearts may continue to stay on those things of God. And that we would set our, our hearts upon those things. Help us Lord. Is our humble prayer. We yield ourselves to thee once again this morning. Holy Spirit, be our guide. Take things which are of Christ and reveal those things unto us. Reveal them unto us, Lord. Yes. We bring our lives to Thee in all humility. Father, also pray this time for my brethren and for myself. 
Help us, Lord, with every grace we need from above. Lord, for we know that it's not in us and in our abilities. We take this moment of God to once again confess our need for you. Our need for your Holy Spirit. Oh, we yield ourselves to His Lordship once again. In your Lordship, lead us and guide us, Lord, this morning. Grant us expressions we need to God. Grant us those words we need to God. Help us in every way that your spirit will be glorified and lifted up as you lift up Jesus Christ and his place in this great kingdom of thine Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, help us therefore. Reveal your Son unto us. As head over all things. Oh Lord, we bow down before thee and bless thee. Lead us on, Spirit of God. We remain yielded to thee once again. Help all of us, therefore, to remain yielded to the work of the Holy Spirit in us and in the midst of us. Oh God, help us to overcome every distraction of every kind, both outward and inward. We worship and bow before thee once again. And Jesus most precious and matchless name we pray. Amen. We thank God for these Precious days God granted us in His great mercies. Uh, we have come to the last session. How soon the days have gone? Yes or no? The days have gone by and we are to pack and go back again. You may pack and leave this place. But don't leave the mountain. Amen. Stay on. Stay on on those heights under which he has called you and brought you in. Despite all our commitments, let there be a strong resolve in our hearts to maintain those heavenly heights in our lives. And it's my prayer that this would not be a false mountain that we are in. But in all reality, we may experience His presence, the power of His word, even in our lives now and in the coming days. You know that the power of those things which we have seen may continue to govern our lives. Yes, oh may God help us. We thank God for all that God helped us to hear from the Lord and see 
by the holy spirit even last night neethi iravu kuda devude vaarthil irundhu paartha kaaryangalukkum naam ketta kaaryangalukkum devunukku nandri seluthuvom you know we saw from the book of ezekiel ezekiel puthagathil irundhu naam paarthom you know some precious things which we had never seen before idarkku munbu paarkada sila vilayerappatta kaaryangalai naam paarthom you know we saw it all in the book of ephesians idellam ephesians puthagathil irukkiradaiyum paarthom you know as we read in the book of uh, romans let me just take us to the book of romans chapter 1 once again romar kalan nirbham 1st adhigaram yes the book of romans chapter 1 romar kalan nirbham 1st adhigaram adhyay 1 Paul as servant of Jesus Christ called to be an apostle separated under the gospel of God which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures concerning his son Jesus Christ our lord which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh and declared as declared to be the son of god with power and according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead so here we see the apostle saying very clearly inge polana avar miga telivaga solugiradai paarkirum which he had promised for by his prophets yare kurithu theerkadirchigalukku thannudaiya vaakkathatham pannirukkararo promise by his prophets thannudaiya theerkadirchigal moolamaga vaakkathatham pannirukkarar in the holy scriptures in the parshutha vedagamangalile you know the prophets have spoken about jesus christ in the holy scriptures parshutha vedagamangalile theerkadirchigal yesu christuvai kurithu pesi irukkirargal and as they saw they wrote it down avargal paarthapadiye eludhi vaitargal and paul says what they have written is concerning christ jesus avargal eludhi vaitadhu yesu christu vai kurithu endru paul solugiran that is why he says what that jo jo pois declared to be the son of god with power and according to the spirit of holiness and so on parshuthamal aamen padi devudey sudan endru marithuval endru verthilende naale balamai roopikkapatta varu endru solugiran so we thank god that we could see how jesus christ is shown forth even in the book of ezekiel agave ezekiel puthagathil kuda andavara yesu christu vanavar velippettirukiradai nam paarthom adarkku nandri seluthuvom you know the vision of the temple there ange irukkira aalayathinudaiya darshanam anadhu and the measurements of the temple and the aalayathinudaiya alavugal you know it all speaks about christ and the church ivigal ellam kristuvayum sabayum kurithu pesugiradha irukirathu masiha aur kalisiya ke bare mein baat you know and i thank god for all that the spirit of god has conveyed to us last night netiravu devan aaviyanavar namakku katru kodutha ella kaaryangalukkum nandri seluthuvom aatmane hum tak pahunchen yes every one of us has a measure of christ we heard naam ovvaru varukkum kristunudaiya alavu irukiradhu endru naam kettom and we have a place in christ kristuvukkulaga namakku oru sthanamum undu we have a place in the body of christ kristuvin sarirathile namakku oru idam undu ki dehave bhi hamara ek sthanam you know and we also have a ministry in the body of christ kristuvin sarirathile namakku ooliyamum undu seva bhi humko di gayi hai and we thank god for every light that god has given to us devan kodutha ella vidhamana velichathirkum naan nandri seluthuvom you know the spiritual revelation of the church as the body of christ sabaye kurithadana yesu kristuvin kurithadana oru velippaalanadhu is as precious revelation relation saints of god idu oru vilayera petra velipadagum deva janangale you know it's beyond words of men adu manidudaiya vaarthigalukku apar pettadagum you know there are many who talk about the body of christ kristu vil sarirathai kurithu anegar endru pesugirargal but many do not yet have a revelation of the body of christ anal kristu vil sarirathai kurithu innum avargalukku velipadu kedaikavillai you know that is totally different idu muttilum vyathamanadhu 
and revelation will bring you to the reality of that ஒரு வெளிபாடானது அந்த வெளிபாட்டின் உண்மை தன்மைக்கு நம்மை கொண்டு வரும் you will not be living as an individual in your individualism உங்களுடைய தனித்தன்மையிலே நீங்கள் தனியாகவே வாழ்ந்திருக்க மாட்டீர்கள் when your eyes are open to see what is the body of christ கிறிஸ்துவின் சரீரம் என்றால் என்ன என்று உங்களுடைய கண்கள் திறக்கப்படுமானால் have a revelation of the body of christ கிறிஸ்துவின் சரீரத்தை குறித்த வெளிபாடை பெற்றிருப்பீர்களெனில் you know your individualism is going to come to an end உங்களுடைய தனிப்பட்ட வாழ்க்கைக்கு ஒரு முற்றுப்புள்ளி வரும் you are you lose your identity and you come into the identity of the body of christ நீங்கள் உங்களுடைய அடையாளத்தை இழந்து கிறிஸ்துவின் சரீரத்தின் அடையாளத்திற்கு வருவீர்கள் well we have no time to dwell on those things again even this morning agave inda kaalai pulathile marubadi madhi dhyanikka samayam illai but remember you are brought into the body you are a member in particular in the body of christ that is your identity ungalude adayalam enna vendal neenga sharirathile kondu varapatteerkirgal sharirathin avayangalaga thanithanmayagavum irukkirgal adhu dhaan ungalude adayalam and we have a ministry as we heard velum nam sonnadhu pola or uliyamum ungalukku undu and this is not a ministry with titles and uh, you know and many other paraphernalia இந்த ஊழியத்திற்கு பெயரோ பட்டங்களோ இல்லை ஆனால் இது சரீரத்திற்கு ஜீவனை ஊட்டுகிற ஒரு ஊழியமாகும் Holy Spirit imparted revelation of the church as the body of Christ. Sabai enbadhe Christavan Christ is the head. Sabai enbadhe Christavan sariram engira velipaatai nam nichayamai petirukka vendum. And it's my prayer that our lifestyle will change as we have come into the hill of the Lord and we have seen what the church of Christ is all about. ஆகவே இந்த பருவத்துக்கு மேலாக நாம் வந்திருக்கிறோம் நாம் கிறிஸ்துவின் சபை என்றால் என்ன என்பதை நாம் கண்டிருக்கிறோம் ஆகவே நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கை மாற வேண்டும் என நான் ஜெபிக்கிறேன். ஆல்ஸ் கி குலம் यानी கலிசியா கோ उसके देव हमने देख लिया है. And let's continue to be in prayer that God would continue to open our eyes of understanding. ஆகவே நம்முடைய புனிதன் கண்களை தேவன் தொடர்ந்து திறப்பதற்கு நாம் தொடர்ந்து ஜெபத்தில் காணப்படுவோம். Yes. Amen. 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 Let's continue to be in prayer. நாம் தொடர்ந்து ஜெபத்தில் காணப்படுவோம். நாம் நாம் பலரை உஸ்மே You know that it would not be that we get back and get back to the old ways again. மறுபடியும் மறுபடியும் பழைய வழிக்கே போவது அல்ல. அப்படி அப்படி கரோ கோ ஆர்ட் வாபஸ் पुराने मार्गों में भी चले. As I said this should not be a false mountain in your life. நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையில இது ஒரு பொய்யான மலையாக இருக்க கூடாது என்று நான் சொன்னேன். ஆப்கே ஒரு மேரே ஜீவன் கே अंदर नकली है. You know I I was encouraged when my brother told me that in the morning session yesterday he felt ashamed of himself netra kaalaiyile and the dhyana poodiyile oru sagodharan sonnar naan idai kurithu vetkapadugiren endra satrukku andha vachan sunkonga shamindigirasu you know that he was so ashamed avar miga vetkapadirundha and then the word came in the evening if you are ashamed god will show further on to you அதற்கப்புறம் சாயங்காலத்திலே நீங்கள் வெட்கப்பட்டால் தேவன் என்ன மதியமாய் காட்டிக் கொடுப்பார் என்று சொன்னார் something God is opening his eyes to see further. ஆகவே மேலும் காரியங்களை காண தேவன் உதவி செய்தார். I would only encourage my brother and say continue to keep going on in this walk with God. தேவனோடு கூட இந்த அழைப்பிலே தொடர்ந்து இப்படியாகவே நடங்கள் என்ற அந்த சகோதரருக்கு நான் உற்சாகப்படுத்துகிறேன். and that's what i want to say to all of us here even this morning in the kaale pulidilum ellorkum idai thaan naan solla virumbugiren there is no turning back in our life nammude vaalkaiyile pinnaga thirumbi poga mudiyadhu let that be our determination adhu nammude thirkamana mudivaga irukkattu i can tell you one thing brothers and sisters once you meet with the lord on his ground our lives will never be the same தேவனுடைய தானத்திலே நீங்கள் அவரை சந்திப்பீர்கள் எனில் நீங்கள் உங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கை அப்படியாகவே இருக்காது என்ற ஒரு காரியத்தை நான் சொல்கிறேன் and i'm sure that as we continue to maintain this heights or continue to maintain this fellowship with the lord in the heavenlies i'm sure our lives will continue to change in the coming days agave unnadathile irukkira devanudaiya avarodu kuda andha aikathile neengal thodarndu kaanapattirukkirgal anal nichayamaai ungalde vaalkai varugira kaalangalile maarum endru naan nichayamaai solluvaru from the book of ezekiel we saw that ezekiel was taken to the mount and shown 
the the vision of the church which is the body of christ ezekiel parvathirkku melaga eduthu sellapatte eduthu sellapatte kristrude sariramagiya savaye kaana devan udavi seidhar and we saw it from the new testament as well idai pudhi erpaadilum naam paarthom now this morning i want to move on further indra kaalai pudhile naan dhyanikkalam passing on from uh, the book of ezekiel and uh, ephesians we want to move on today further ezekiel pusakam ephesians il irundhu naam innum thondu dhyanikkalam yes we want to move on to the book of daniel ipol idu naam daniel pusakathirkku selvom daniel ki pusakam me aage padna chaan you know daniel was a man of visions of many many things pala karyangaludeya velipaattai petra oru manithanaga daniel irundhar yes <laughs> The Lord shone unto him in visions many things which are yet to be fulfilled upon the face of this earth. இந்த பூமியிலே இன்னும் நிறைவேற கூடிய காரியங்களை குறித்து தரிசனமாக தானியலுக்கு தேவன் காண்பித்து கொடுத்தார். You know and in the book of Daniel in the Daniel புத்தகத்திலே in the visions of Daniel தானியருடைய தரிசனங்களிலே one thing we are able to see is ஒரு காரியம் நாம் பார்ப்பது என்னவென்றால் the vision of Christ in the universal dominion இந்த உலகம் முழுவதுமாக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவனுடைய ஆளுகை வரப்போகிறதை பார்க்கிறோம் இந்த the universal dominion and kingdom இந்த உலகம் முழுவதுமாக தேவனுடைய ராஜ்யம் வந்து ஆளுகை செய்ய போகிறதை நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் so when we talk about the vision of christ ஆகவே நாம் his dominion அவருடைய தரிசனம் அவருடைய ஆளுகையை பார்க்கும் போது you know we can never think of him having a dominion without his church sanude sabhi illamal avar aaliga seya poigirar endrade nam nenaithu paarkave mudiyadu it cannot be done without the church sabhi illamal adhe seya pada mudiyadu nahi kiya ja sakta yes amen amen are you with me So when we talk about the vision of Christ and his dominion and his kingdom his rule it cannot be without Christ or without the church of Jesus Christ கிறிஸ்துவுடைய தரிசனம் அவர் ஆளுகை செய்ய போகிறார் அவருடைய மண்டலங்களை ராஜ்யங்களை நாம் குறித்து பேசும் பொழுது சபை இல்லாமல் அது செய்யப்பட முடியாது என்பதை நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் So remember this ஆகவே உணர்ந்து கொள்ளுங்கள் when we talk about the vision of Christ and his universal or his a uh, reign and his dominion remember it includes the church of jesus christ yesu christurudeya darshanathai kurithu paarkum poludum avar inda prabhatham mulavadum aaliga seyapogirar endradhai nam kekkum poludum adhe sabai illamal seyapada mudiyadhu endradhaiyum paarkirum now our eyes must be open to see christ and the church here even in the visions of daniel danielude darshanangalilum kuda kristuvai kurithum sabaiye kurithum irukkira darshanathai nam paarka nam kangal therakapada vendum Now, please turn with me to the book of Revelation. ये पढ़ दे वाली पढ़ते हैं विषय शाम. Yes, and chapter nineteen. पतंग बादाम. अधिकारों. And for want of time. verse 7 yela masanam let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready naam sandoshapattu kalikurndu avarku thudhi selutha kadavum aattukuttiyanude kalyanam vandathu avarude manavi thannai aayatham paninal endru solla kete aur uski dulhin ne apne aap ko taiyar kar liya and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints suttamum prakasamumana melliya vastram tarithukollumbadi avalukku alikkapattathu and the melliya vastram parishuddha vanangaludeya neethigale i am turning on to verse 11 padinoram vachana and i saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he that judge and make war பின்பு பரலோகம் திறந்திருக்க கண்டேன் இதோ ஒரு வெள்ளை குதிரை காணப்பட்டது அதன் மேல் ஏறி இருந்தவர் உண்மையும் சத்தியமும் உள்ளவர் என்றெண்ணப்பட்டார் அவர் நீதியாய் நியாயம் தீர்த்த யுத்தம் பண்ணுகிறார் 
His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. Clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And who are these armies of God? Look at their the, look at their dress. And you want to identify them, let's turn back again to verse 8. And the Lord was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. And see here the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And the Lord God that the, the wife of the Lamb has made herself ready. That he should be, she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. And so the marriage of the Lamb is come. And soon after the marriage we see that, they, that she is going into a war with her bridegroom. That's what we see here very clearly. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. That with it he should smite the nations. And he should rule them with a rod of iron. And he treaded the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of the Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Here is the king. Here is the king, but he has got an army with him who have been clothed in fine linen, white and clean. You know, first of all, I want to say, when we talk about Christ, His reign, His dominion, His kingdom, it's not just Christ alone, but is also His bride, His church, together with Him. Please understand this. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now here he is going in to make war. Conquering and conquering. Amen. Amen. For his name is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now, with this background, we are turning to some scriptures in the book of Daniel. Now, you know, the things that we consider, they may be fragmentary. You know, we cannot go into a thorough study and meditation of these things. But that is not what God has intended for us in these days. This is not what God has intended for us to have a thorough study. But the Lord has called us into the mountain of the Lord. The Lord Lord has called us unto Himself to show Christ and the church to us. 
So that's what we are going to see from the book of Daniel. इधर इतना Daniel पुत्र के तले पार को पोई रो। And how that is also seen in the New Testament as well. मेल पुत्र ये पार ले इधर कांड पुत्र कर दियो पार। As we saw from the book of Ezekiel. इसे के लिए ना पार तो। We saw from the book of Zechariah. सागरी आप पुत्र के तले इधर पार तो। Amen. And we saw it also in the New Testament. मेल पुत्र ये पार दिलो पार तो। You know, and may God open our eyes of understanding. नम्बरे पुरे दिन कर दे देवन तेरा कटो। So we are going to sum up some of the things as Daniel saw in his visions. अपनी आँखें दानियल ने दर्शन करे कुरीति ना पार्थे चला कार्य करे ना पार को पोई रो। You know what is the main result of those visions that Daniel had? अंदर दानियल उड़िया दर्शन दिन उड़िया मुख्य माने बिले भी गले ना। Of course, it is not the course of uh, this world's history. वरलाटरी वरलाटी आगे वे नान उन्नर पुरी करते हैं। So listen very carefully। आगे वे गणना क्या लेंगे? So in all that we are going to meditate this morning। इन द काले पुरी दिले ना मैंने ध्यान क्यों पकड़ा मैंने डाल। What is the main result of Daniel's vision? Daniel उन्हें दर्शन देने उन्हें ये मुड़ी भी अन्ने। You know it is not the course of this world's history। इन द उलगा वरला टिन चरित्र मल्ले। दर्शनों का परिणाम के संसार के इतिहास का when we जल्दी करो ब्रदर यू नो वी आर कमिंग टू वेन वी रीड थ्रू द बुक ऑफ डैनियल नाम डैनियल वी रीड देर अबाउट मेनी किंगडम्स अंगे अनेक राज्य रीड सम And don't get caught up with all the interpretation of those kingdoms. And the Rajya Thirudi Vilakangali Nal Pidi Ke Pada Venda. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you the purigada. So we are not going to get caught up with all that stuff there. Agave, ipri pata kariyengle naam dhani ke povi dille. So as I said, what is the result of these visions? Agave, inda darithengal udhe mudhi venna. It is not the course of this world's history. Inda ulaga thir varla thir tarithena tarith tarithra malle. But moving on towards. Christ and its consummation. Christ who, our Lordy, a paripurnam, nerevani ke nadeyam purite adhi sulle ke nadey. You know when you read through the book of Daniel. Daniel ne nikal vasi ke mulde. We read about many empires or kingdoms. Palle samrajya engle kuri tum rajya engle kuri tum vasi ke. It's like a pageant. Na pageant. An entertainment. इधर वो रे केले की आना एक केले की आना वो रे कार्य मल्ले. So listen very carefully. आगे बे. All the kingdoms that we read through in the book of Daniel, it's like a pageant. नाम पार करे अंदर राज्य इंगले लाम दानियल पुस्तक तले इधर वो रे वेड की आगा पुल्लु बोक आगे रखला. Have you seen? Have you seen the pageant? निंगल पुल्लु बोक के पार करे. I'm using a word which we do not know. It looks like. अंदर नाड़कम इंद्र सोला लाम नाड़कते पात्र. An entertainment. वो नाड़कम. Where there is procession of people, janangali ripargal, people have colourful costume. Palla udai galai, mandang galai, arindri ripargal. You know, in acting and uh, you know a pageant of history of the art uh, of this and that and that. Medai galai, palla vidha mana mandang gal, palla vidha mana padang galai vai ripargal. You know, it's all colourful show, isn't it? Idi vore mandang gal nirain da vore nada kamang eri kiradi. And everything is just over when the pageant thing is over, isn't it? Apdi aga the nada ko mudiyum mula the allam mudindi mudi kiradi. So what we read in the book of Daniel is. Aga we Daniel putte thenna parkiro hena. Strong kingdoms. Palle rajyengale parkiro. You know, strong kingdoms coming up. Ange mige balamana rajyengal parkiro. All those kingdoms and empires are like a pageant show. 
அப்படியாக அந்த ராஜ்யங்களும் அந்த அரசர்களும் ஒரு நாடகமாக போகிறார்கள் அப்படியாக மிக விரைவாக ஒருவர் எலும்புகிறார் உணர்வர் கீழே விழுகிறார் Babylonians, the Medes, the Persians, the Grecians, the Romans. For the prophet of God, all this great kingdom with its great power and majesty, authority, it was only a pageant. அப்படியாகிறேன் <laughs> 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 பெரிய ராஜாக்கள் எழுப்பினார்கள் பெரிய அதிகாரத்தை கொண்டவர்கள் எழுப்பினார்கள் நான் ராஜா நான் என்ன கோயில் போடுவேன் ஒரு நாடகமாக போனது அவர்களுக்கு அதிகாரம் இருந்தது இருந்தாலும் ஒன்றை உணருங்கள் தேவத்திற்கு தேசிக்கு முன்பாக அது ஒரு நாடகமாக இன்றும் கூட சில நாடகத்தை நாம் பார்த்துக்கொண்டிருக்கிறோம்ங்களுக்கு நாடகம் தான் அவர்கள் சொல்லலாம் எனக்கு அதிகாரம் இருக்கிறது எனக்கு வல்லம் இருக்கிறது நான் எது வேண்டும் என செய்வேன் என்று சொல்லலாம் ஆனால் தேவ ஜனங்களாக உங்களுக்கும் எனக்கும் அவருடைய ராஜ்யத்தையும் சபையின் ராஜ்யத்தையும் நீங்கள் பாருங்கள் அவர்கள் கீழே விழுகிறதையும் பாருங்கள் அவர்கள் மேலே வருவதற்கு முன்பாக கீழே போகிறார்கள் Are you with me? May God help us. Devan namukku devi seyattu. Begin to understand why Paul always said, "Remember brethren your calling." Ungalude alaippai neengal therindukollungal. This is the reason. Endru Paul yen solugirar endru theriyuma? Idarkaga than solugirar. Apni bulahat ko yaad. Don't get sucked into this pageant. Inda nadagathile neengal pidikapada vendam endru solugirar. Samaru aap dekhte enni andar aap Remember Daniel was not sucked into that system amen and the amai pile daniel pidikapadavilla endrai paarungal ye jo is tarah ke samrajya the wo wo unke andar kicha nahi chala jata yes whether you make me governor or not i am not going to get sucked into this i have a different calling in christ jesus nee enne adhipadiyaga aakinalum aaka vittalum enakendru or alai pirikirade adile naan pidikapattirpen endru avar sonna whether i am dismissed from babylonian administrative service i don't care naan unde rajyathile adhigariyaga irukkalam illa vittalum pogalam enakku kavala illai i am not concerned about adai kurithu enakku chindai illai i am part of another order and kingdom naan unnoru rajyathirkum karamathirkum utpattavan this is all a page and it will just pass now idu ellam or nadaga karamaga irukirathu ellam idu poi vidum true it was in the very face of daniel you know as the kingdoms came they began to move it finished overnight அப்படியாக தானியல் கண்களுக்கு முன்பாக ராஜ்யம் எழும்பியது ஒரே ராத்திரத்திலே முடிந்து விட்டது இந்த அவருடைய வேஷம் கலைந்து போனதை பார்க்கிறோம் இப்பொழுது தானியல் கழுதுன தானியல் திருக்கதை சம்பந்தம் இரண்டாம் அதிகாரம் 
the book of Daniel and chapter 2. Daniel Renda Madigaro. And I would like to read from verse 31. Uh, yes. I think we may not read in Hindi to save time. Thou, O king, sawest, and behold, a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee. And the form thereof was terrible. The image's head was of fine gold, and his breast and his arms of silver, and his belly and his thighs of brass, <coughs> his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Thou sawest till what a, thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet, that were of iron and clay, and break them to pieces. Amen. And break them to pieces. Then was the iron and the clay, the brass, the silver and the gold broken to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away and no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Now here is the vision that he had. This is the interpretation of the vision that was given to Daniel. Daniel this was the interpretation of the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had. You know, and here he speaks about different kingdoms. You know, belly and his thighs of brass is talking about a, a particular kingdom. You know, so as I said, I'm not getting into all the details of that. Please. But what I would like to point out today is, you know, all these kingdoms mentioned here, gold and silver and brass and iron and clay, you you know, we see finally what happened to these kingdoms. Now, that is what I would like to point to us. And then at the end, he sees a stone cut without hands. Break into the history of this world. Amen. A stone cut not with the hands of men coming in. Coming into the history of this world. And then set up a kingdom. Yes. That is precious, brothers and sisters. Now let me just turn you to chapter, uh, the same chapter, verse 44. <laughs> and in the days of these kings, okay, let's let just read this um, uh, 42 down onward to save time. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron, part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sowest iron mixed with mighty clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, 
but they shall not cleave one to another. Even iron is not mixed with clay. There are a lot of interpretations I am not getting into it. But verse 44. <laughs> in the days of these kings shall God of heaven set up a kingdom. Amen. And the Raja Kali Nad Kali That's what we would like to point out on. Kali Nad Kali Le Parlogutin Devan Endekum never be destroyed. Endekum Ali Adur Raja Ter Pertuan. A stone cut not with the hands of men coming in and smashing all these kingdoms. Kaigalal Perka Padada were Kal Ule Vandi in the Ella Raja and Kalim Nuriki Portigre de Parkiro. And here in verse 44 it says, In the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. And the Raja Kalin Nakalile Parla within Devon and then Dekimali Adur Raja Telmo Panova, which shall never be destroyed. Adi Nurko Paramudiadi and the kingdom. Shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand for. Ever. Hallelujah. In this vision, what we see is the God of heaven is coming in and breaking into the history of this world. Hallelujah. Now everybody was just thinking about third world war. Everybody was fearful about what was happening in Ukraine. And many men began to write uh, leaflets and prophetic expressions in magazines. Because they, they ran short of messages. And subjects. So finally Ukraine came in. Now listen very carefully. We are not going to get caught up with all these things. But remember one thing. At the end of it all. God is going to come in. And bring an end to all that is happening. Brothers and sisters. That is important for us. Yes. yes. You know, and it says there, uh, which shall never be destroyed. And in the days of these kings, in the days of this powerful man upon this earth, remember it's like a pageant. They have their own costumes. Oh, they change their costumes like anything. Oh, 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 with the cap, without a thing, and without shawl, and many things. You know, all colorful costumes you find. It's all a show. And in these days, days, God is going to intervene into the kingdoms of men, and He's going to establish a kingdom which shall never, never come to an end. And the end Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what Daniel saw. Daniel we shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not left to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these nations. Yes. Verse 45. For as much as thou sowest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, the gold, the great God hath made known to the king that what shall come to pass hereafter, and the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. The vision is certain. 
நிலைப்படுத்துவார் had a name written and that was king of kings and the lord of lords and the kudrail avandirukkuru melaga eludapetta naamam rajaadi raja kartaadi karta he went to conquer nations avar rajyangalai jeipar oh god is going to come in into the history of this world inda ulagathin varalaatrukkullaga devan nulaiya poigira and he will set up a king avar than rajyathe nilaipaduthuvar and the end of which is not seen and will never be seen and this kaanthu andrude mudivu irukadu adarku mudive irukadu rajya dominion and authority is given to his people apadiyaga rajyamum vallamiyum dan dangalukku kodukapattathu i just i just want to sing that song and or paadalai paada naan virumbugiren this rock on which i stand the rock on which i can somebody help me with a note today is a different preacher what to do bunny please help me thank you jesus this rock on which i stand shall become great mountain and the mountain shall flourish with the glory Stay on the side and be restored. 
Hallelujah. And the kingdom shall flourish. And the Rajya Perdu. Hallelujah. And there shall be no end. The stern was made to the book of Daniel again. Daniel chapter 7. Hallelujah. In chapter 7 of Daniel, we read the visions of the four beasts that Daniel had. Daniel, 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 Daniel,
Yes. தரிசனங்களையும் பார்க்கிறோம். As I said I'm not getting into all the details of history. ஆகவே நான் சொன்ன வரலாற்றை நாம் பார்க்க போவதில்லை. And I would like to read a few verses. இங்கு we will be reading in Hindi for want of time. Verse 9 and I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool you remember someone like this in revelation ipirikatta oru oru velipattil velipaduthu nivasikkiru and his throat was like fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire and the, a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him thousand thousands ministered unto him and thousand times 10000 stood before him the judgment was set and the books were open and i beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake i beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame as concerning the rest of the beasts they had their dominion taken away yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time I saw in the midst in the night visions and behold one like the son of man came with clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him before him and there was given him dominion and glory and kingdom that all people nations and languages should serve him His dominion is an everlasting dominion. Amen. Which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. And verse 18. Madhana Thomasano. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. Amen. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever amen not only the lord jesus amen and over yesu christ mathramal church avude sabayum kuda the saints of the most high unnathamanude parishuddhamaangal shall take the kingdom rajyagathe peruvargal and possess the kingdom rajyathe sondarithukolvargal forever sada kaalangalukku even forever and ever endendrikkumulla sada kaalangalilum irpargal verse 22 again marubadi maga 22 until the ancient of days came and judgment was given <clears throat> to the saints of the most high and the time came that saints possess the kingdom amen, amen. the saints possess the kingdom parishuddha vangal rajyathe sondra and he said the fourth shall fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon this earth and it goes on But one thing we see very clearly in verse 22 which I want to again emphasize 22nd verse until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints of the most high nyaya visaripu unnathamanude and the time came that the saints possess the kingdom parishuddha vangal rajyathe sondrathukkulla kaalam varumattagavum நீண்ட ஆயுள்ளவர் வருமட்டாகவும் நியாய விசாரிப்பு உன்னதமானுடைய பரிசுத்தவான்களுக்கு கொடுக்கப்பட்டு பரிசுத்தவான்கள் ராஜ்யத்தை சுதந்திரத்துக் கொள்ளும் காலம் வருமட்டாகவும் verse 27 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him hallelujah manatirki ilangumulla rajyangalil as i said we are just going to see fragmentary aspects of the 
visions of Daniel. आगे वे दाने उन्हें दर्शन तिन उन्हें ये सिला पौधे के लिए मट्ट पार्क में मिलना आरसों ने। You know, but one important thing as we have seen is God breaks into the history of this world. इन द वल्लगत तिन वारला तिर कुला का देवन बुले या पूजा इन्हें नाम पार्क में। वो ये है कि परमेश्वर इस विश्व के इतिहास के अंदर घुस जाता है। Yes. And will set up his kingdom. Melum tanuri rajya te nali padtuwa. And the end of which is never seen. Adinuriya rajyam nitya rajyam. And will never be seen at all. Adi nerevu parad. And authority and dominion shall be given to the people of the Most High. Unna the manuriya parchuta mangal ke andar rajyam kudko padum. And so we we see him coming into reign. Aga we have a rajya reega tirku varigira har endu parikiro. Ali ke varigira. coming to reign avar rajarigam seya aluge seya varigirar who has the right to reign hallelujah avarukku dhaan andha rajyam seya adhigaram irukirathu adhigaram amen he has a right to reign and he comes into reign avar rajarigam seya adhigaram petirukiravar urumai ullavar avar varigirar the consummation of the history of this world is so visible here saints of agave ulagathin varlaatin mudivu pera poigirathu endru nam telivaga ingu paarkirom and i want to tell you one thing in uh, you know here ingu or karyam solugiren the pageantry of all these great powers and empires is moving towards one thing it's moving towards christ இந்த உலகத்த ராஜ்யத்தினுடைய எல்லா வல்லமையான ராஜ்யங்கள் அந்த சாம்ராஜ்யங்களுடைய எல்லா அந்த நாடக வேஷமும் களைய போகிறது கிறிஸ்துவானவர் நேராக அவர்கள் போகிறார்கள் அங்குதான் நிறைவு வர போகிறது You know that's why Paul says to the Corinthians. आगे वे दान कोरिंदी रे के पॉल चलेगा रा. Tell me what did he say to Corinthians? कोरिंदी रे कोरिंदी ने चला. Do you remember? तुम लोग तेरी माँ. हाँ. The book of First Corinthians. उन्हें कोरिंदी है. And chapter six and verse two. आरा मधिकारम रंडा मसनम. पहला कोरिंदी अध्याय छह दो. Do we not know that the saints shall judge the world? परसुत वानगल बोला था यहाँ इंटर पार्क लेने आ रही है कला. And the world shall be judged by you. Mungalal, ulagam nayam tirka pade bola irka. Are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Arpa valakkal in tirka nengal abathirara. Know ye not that we shall judge the angels? Deva dudharalim nayam tirpo mente hari irgalam. How much more the things pertaining to this life? Apadi irka in the jivan ke do vali vali nengal tirka kolla kolla irka apadi. If you then have judgments of things pertaining to this life, said them to judge. who are least esteemed in the church and he goes on to say right i would like to read from a different translation these verses in the vasanangalai innoru maliyaga therndu vaasikka virumbugiren just for a moment sir innu vidangalukku coming i'm reading message translation it says the day is coming when the world is going to stand before a jury made up of followers of christ kristavinudaiya kristave pinbattavargalinal oru nyaya sam nyaya sangam varapogirathu adarku munbaga inda ulagam nirkapogirathu andha naal varapogirathu unke unke nyayadeesho ke samne khada hoga if somebody you are going to If if some day sorry you are going to rule on this world's fate wouldn't it be good idea to practice of some of those things uh, some of these smaller cases இந்த உலகத்தின் விதியை நீங்கள் நியாயம் தீர்க்க போகிறீர்களே அப்படி இருக்க உங்களுடைய அற்ப வழக்குகளை தீர்க்க உங்களால் முடியாதா if some day you are going to rule on the world's fate உலகத்தின் விதியை நீங்கள் தான் நியாயம் தீர்க்க போகிறீர்கள் wouldn't it be a good idea to practice on some of these smaller cases இந்த சில அற்ப வழக்குகளை நீங்கள் தீர்க்க நீங்கள் முடியாதா why were we are given why we are even going to judge angels 
So why not these everyday affairs? You know, so it, the word of God is very clear, brothers and sisters. That the saints of the Most High shall judge. Yes. You know, that's what we read in the book of Daniel. You know, remember that, that the Lord is calling us to this mountain today to show us the dominion of Christ where the church is active part of His kingdom. In the Malaki Melaka Devon Namai Kundu and Rikra, Kirtuvayum, Avodi Raja Rigatayum, Alagayum, Avodu Kuda Sabai, Ala Poigra, the Embassyum Kan with the Kurkira. You know, that's why Paul always says, Remember, brethren, you call. Agavila Nungal Alepe Nigal Parangal and the Apolime Kurkira fall on our. Not many wise men after the flesh. In the Mamsatin Yanigalle, not many mighty. In the Sariatin Valamiana Vergale, not many noble are called. In the Dadavangal Aleka Padavi, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world. In the Vulagatin Paitangal Tam and the Gundar to confound the wise. In the Yanigal is Sandi Padaka, God has chosen the weak things of the world. In the Vulagatin Balavinagal is David Tendi Gundar to confound the things which are mighty. In the Balavangal is Sandi Padaka, and He has chosen the base things of the world. In the Vulagatin Arpamana will tell the Gundar, yes, and things which are despised. And the Yanigal is Sandi Padaka, yea, the things which are not. To bring to naught the things which that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence. So, this is what a salvation this is. Amen. What a salvation this is. This is not just forgiveness of sin. This is not just a place, a corner in heaven somewhere. Hallelujah. Oh may God help us. What a tremendous calling. Remember your calling. You know, Behold with your eye. Hear with your ear. And set your heart on those things which the Lord is showing to us in the mouth. And it is to this end God has called us and brought us here. I want to tell you brothers and sisters. What a tremendous calling is resting upon the church of Jesus Christ. But to what realm the church has descended or come down to. Look at the decline of the church of Jesus Christ. But I want to tell you that God has not given up on His church. As we sing in that song, the church shall not fail. Her vision is glorious. Amen. Amen. And she will be found in that place. Jesus said, I will build my church. This rock shall become a great mountain. Let's hold on to that word, brothers and sisters. So that's what we see in the book of Daniel. You know, there are great things here that we must apprehend spiritually. We must come into the spiritual value of what Daniel could see. You know, and we see these things reflected even in the book of Colossians. And also in other places in the New Testament. And these things are made perfectly clear. You know, let's just turn to the book of Colossians for a moment. The book of Colossians and chapter 1. 
అధ్యాయి I will rather like to read verse 16 16th verse For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether there be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him amen all things were created by him and for him amen sagalamum avare kondum avarkkum he is before all things and by him are all things consist and he is the head of the body amen the church who is the beginning the first born from the dead that in all things he might have the preeminence amen hallelujah so all that we read in the book of daniel is written right here in colossians agave daniel puthathil nam vaasithe ellam colossian nirupathil enge eludapattirukkiradhu nam paarkkirom yes when in we read whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him சிங்காசனங்களானாலும் கச்சத்துவங்களானாலும் துரைத்தனங்களானாலும் அதிகாரங்களானாலும் தகலமும் அவரை கொண்டும் மனிதனுடைய ராஜ்யங்களுக்கு இடையிலே அவர் உடைத்து வருகிறார் என்று நாம் பார்த்தோமே இந்த உலகத்தின் வரலாற்றை அவர் உடைத்து நுழைகிறார் மேலும் அவர் தன் ராஜ்யத்தை நிலைப்படுத்தி எல்லாவற்றிலும் முதல்வராய் அவர் இருக்கும்படி He has preeminence over everything brothers and sisters. எல்லாவற்றிற்கும் அவர்தான் முதல்வர். And so we read very clearly in the book of Colossians. ஆகவே கொலோசிய நிருபத்தில் தெளிவாய் வாசிக்கிறோம். You know we read their God's predestined purpose. தேவனால் முன்குறிக்கப்பட்ட தீர்மானத்தை நாம் இங்கு வாசிக்கிறோம். For this world which is in Christ Jesus. கிறிஸ்துவுக்குள்ளாக இருக்கிற இந்த காரியத்தை நாம் வாசிக்கிறோம். Christ shall be at the end all in all. இறுதியிலே கிறிஸ்து எல்லாவற்றிற்கும் எல்லாமாக இருப்பார் எல்லாவற்றிற்கும் எல்லாமாக இருப்பார் அப்படியாக பிரபஞ்சம் முழுவதும் நிறைந்தவராக முதல்வராக எல்லாவற்றிலும் எல்லாவராக இருப்பார் although many a time பல நேரங்களிலே பல நேரங்களில் it may seem that நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் other powers are controlling this universe இந்த உலகத்தை வேறு சக்திகள் ஆளுகை செய்கிறதை பார்க்கிறோம் இந்த உலகத்தின் ராஜ்யத்தை வேறு ஏதோ சக்திகள் ஆளுகை செய்கிறது என்பது போல தெரிகிறது இட் லுக்ஸ் லைக் தேர் ஆர் மைட்டி போர்சஸ் அண்ட் பவர்ஸ் வல்லமையான சக்திகள் வல்லமைகள் இருக்கிறது போல தெரிகிறது கமிங் இன் ஸ்வைங் அண்ட் த்ரெட்னிங் வந்து ஒரு புயல் போல வந்து நம்மை பயப்படுத்துகிறதையும் பார்க்கிறோம் அப்படியாக ஏதோ இந்த உலகம் முடிய போகிறது போல தெரிகிறது மூன்றாம் உலக போர் பல காரியங்கள் ஜனங்கள் பயப்பட ஆரம்பிக்கிறார்கள் but i want to tell ana naan solugiren not daniel daniel alla daniel is not going to fear amen daniel bayapada maatan god's daniels will never fear they know their the destiny in christ devrudaiya daniyargal bayapada maatargal avargal kristuvukullaga irukkira ilakkai avargal arivargal and it looks like the seeming powers seem to touch the very destiny of god's people ippol irukkiradana vallamigal devrudaiya janangalai muduthi viduvargalo endru therigirathu yes Daniel saw these forces at work. In the sakthigal kriya seigiradai Daniel paartha. Yes. He saw these forces at work. In the sakthigal kriya seigiradai avar paartha. Turn with me to the book of Daniel chapter 2. Daniel 2nd adhigaram. 
just want to explain about one aspect of that and I'm not getting into a lot of history but just touching on one thing Daniel, Daniel chapter 2 verse 32 his belly and his thighs as of brass yes what the historians say about this you know, they speak this of the Grecian Empire. Grecian Empire. Grecian Empire. Yes. Which was formed by Alexander the Great. And the Alexander Sakravartinal who conquered Darius who was the last Persian Empire. Emperor. Now this is what the historians say. You know, so we read here, uh, you know, how that also came to an end. You know, so we see that people come to a kind of succession coming into power and then it comes to an end. So, in the vision here we see even Alexander the Great conquered the Persian Empire. And he was Alexander the Great conquering and conquering and conquering. Ingum now in the Darisan Tele, Alexander Mananana or Sakaravati, Petrikunde Poigra, Enter Parkro. Yes, and it looked like he is going to attain the whole world, conquer the whole world. In the Vulagate, Mulavadamaka, Jetu, and with the Pola, Terindevi, he subdued almost every nation. Yella Rajakali Markil Petrikuta. And he said he has no more places to conquer. Indum Jaypur can get a villa in Ravasuna. He thought he had absolute dominion over this earth. Yes. But what Daniel saw was that even that is being blown or cut off. And we know that. In the middle of his life, he went away from this world. In, in the, the middle, middle of his life. Yes. Then another power came in. Amen. Amen. This is history. Yes. Amen. Amen. This is history. Yes. You know, so we see here, there is a stone cut not with hands of men coming and smashing this. Another kingdom came in. As we read here in this chapter 2, then came another one, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. So Daniel saw it all. Of brass, now iron and clay. And then Daniel looked on. Daniel looked on. What else, Lord? What shall be the end of it all? And end was the Son of Man coming. Hallelujah. Amen. The Son of Man coming and setting up His kingdom. I want to encourage my brothers and sisters in Christ today. You and I look on to the world that is around us today. You know, we may we may get very discouraged looking at this world today. Yes. We can become very fearful in our hearts. What will happen next? Because this world is going from bad to worse as the days go by. Look at the state of thing morally. Yes. It's terrible. It is so sinful. 
மிக பாவம் உள்ளதாக மாறுகிறது the planet earth is rebelling against the living god இந்த பூமி என்ற கிரகம் தேவனுக்கு எதிராக ஜீவனுள்ள தேவனுக்கு எதிராக நிற்கிறது look at the awful things happening in the nations ராஜ்யங்களிலே நடக்கிற பயங்கரமான பாவத்தை பாருங்க even nations which are called by christian as as christian nations கிறிஸ்தவ ராஜ்யங்கள் என்று அழைக்கப்படுகிற ராஜ்யங்களும் கூட எப்படி இருக்கிறது என்று பாருங்க you know and even nations which have strong laws which would not allow them to even believe in the living god ராஜ்யங்கள் ஜீவனுள்ள தேவனை விசுவாசிக்க கூடாது என்கிற சட்டங்களை போடுகிற ராஜ்யங்களும் காணப்படுகிறது not don't mix up there are nations where even believing in the living god is not allowed permit jeevanulla devane vishwasikka koodadhu endra sattam podukira rajyangalum undu slightest allegiance to the living god will cost them even their very life ningal jeevanulla devane pinpattinal ningal ungalde uyire kuda edupargal appidipatta rajyamum undu so there are so many terrible awful things happening today in the world all over ஆகவே இப்படிப்பட்ட பயங்கரமான காரியங்கள் இந்த உலகம் முழுவதும் நடந்து நடக்கிறது நோட் ஓன்லி தட் அது மட்டுமல்ல men who have power and authority they think they can rule others lives வல்லமையும் அதிகாரத்தையும் கொண்ட மனிதர்கள் நினைக்கிறார்கள் மற்றவர்களை நாங்களா ராஜ்யம் செய்ய முடியும் it dreams is in their hands அவர்கள் நினைக்கிறார்கள் அதிகாரம் தங்கள் கைகளில் இருக்கிறது You know so we are living in a terrible world out there. ஆகவே இப்படிப்பட்ட பயங்கரமான உலகத்தில் நாம் வாழ்கிறோம். Though we may call it a time of democracy. நாம் ஜனநாயகம் என்று அழைத்தாலும் கூட terrible and awful things are happening but this is written in God's word. பயங்கரமான காரியங்கள் நடைபெறுகிறது இது தெய்வ வசனத்தில் எழுதப்பட்டிருக்கிறது. மோசி கதனாகோ பயன பாத்தே கட்டறீங்க. But you know and we have a kind of fear Lord what will be the next thing that will happen upon this earth Inda bhoomile devane enna nadakapogirathu inimel endra oru bayam varigirathu But our eyes should be open to see Christ and the church brothers and sisters Anal deva janangalai nammude kangal kirtavayum sabayum paarka vendum What will the end be is a question in many hearts today Indru palarude irudhayathile mudivu endaga pogirathu endru kelvi elumbugirathu It's hard to find one man one world leader who believes and fears the living god jeevanulla devanukku bayapadukira oru ulagathin rajyathin adhipathiyai paarpadhu miga kadinamaga irukkirathu yes but i want to tell you one thing anal undru solugire as daniel looked on daniel paarthukonde irundhar one looked on one kingdom after the other so powerful denying the living god as he looked on he saw one thing ஒவ்வொரு ராஜ்யங்களும் தீவுள்ள தேவனை மறுதளித்து கீழே போய் கொண்டிருந்த அந்த காட்சி அவர் பார்த்து கொண்டே இருந்தார் brother that doesn't excite me much adhu enak oru thagam tharavillai sagodare somebody was saying that chiler enak appadi sonna did you say that neengal adhai sonneergala that didn't excite me much adhu enak oru thagam tharavillai i wish i could be on the throne no naan singhasanathil irukka virumbugiren it is his throne adhu avarude singhasanam but if you are following him you will sit with him on his throne ana neengal avare pinpattina avarodu kuda avarude singhasanathil amarveergal do you remember that unandu kollungal if you overcome even as i overcame naan jeyungundu you will sit with me in my father's throne naan jeyungundadhu pola neengalum jeyungundal ennodu kuda en pidavin singhasanathil amarveergal ki agar jaise maine jay payi waise agar tum bhi jay paoge to So remember my brothers and sisters remember this may God open our eyes of understanding Agave nammude purinalin kanai devan therakattum and may God help us to see the vision of Christ and the church Kristuvayum avarude sabayum kurita darshanathai nam kangal kaanattum not only Christ has a dominion power but his church which is his body also has the power amen Kristu mathram rajyathai vallamiyum peravillai avarudavum kuda avarude sabayum rajyathai vallamiyum perugirathu enbadai paarungal so we are not to be perturbed and troubled by all that is happening we need to really seek the lord in prayer and our anxious concern must be lord when will these kingdoms will come to an end 
when your kingdom will begin amen agave inda kaaryangale kurithu neengal bayapadavo kalanguvo vendam nam eppozhudum jebikka vendam devane inda rajyangalukku eppozhudum mudivu vendum ummudaiya rajyam eppozhudum varum endru nam jebikka vendam endru kaathirukka vendam but you know one thing or kaaryam theriyuma when all this kingdoms were going on inda rajyangal ellam nadandu kondirundha poludhu the kingdom of god in a few people daniel shandrak meshigan nabendrugo வெளிப்படையான நடந்து <laughs> தேவன் மேலும் நம்மேலும் தேவன் நமக்கு கொடுத்த இந்த அழைப்பின் மேலும் நம்முடைய கண்கள் தொடர்ந்து தரித்திருக்க வேண்டும் என்று நான் சொல்கிறேன் கிறிஸ்துவானவர் ராஜரீகம் செய்வார் ரூல் அண்ட் ரெய் அவர் ஆளுகை செய்வார் ஆட்சி செய்வார் அது நிச்சயமான His universal reign avarude prabandha rajyam nothing can hinder that brothers and sisters adha yarum thadai seya mudiyadhu devajanangale amen and power and authority and dominion shall be given to the saints of the most high rajyam vallamiyum aalugayum unnadamanude parishuddhamaanungalukku kodukkapadum it shall be given to the saints of the most high unnadamanude parishuddhamaanungalukku adu kodukkapadum திட்டத்தில and he is before all things avar ellavattirkum and by him are all things consist and he is the head of the body the church who is the beginning the first born from the dead that in all things he might have pre eminence amen avar ellavattirkum mundinavar ella ellam avarkkul nilai nirkirathu devanam kangalai therakkattum avare sabaiyaagiya sarirathirkku thalaiyanavar ellavattirkum get that into your heart mudhalavara irukkumbadi get that into your heart idai ungal hridayathil vaithukollungal this vision has a mighty power inda darithirathirkku miga vallamai undu where there is no vision people will certainly go to pieces enge darithanam illayo janangal ange nerungundu povargal you would go to pieces brothers and sisters neengalum nerungundu poveergal if you are going to just watch things which are happening in the world around us namme chutti nadakkira ulagathin karyangalai ipdiye paarthukondirundal the world conditions are becoming worse day by day over naalum ulagathin karyangal migavum mosamai kondu poigirathu as the word of god says vedam solugirathu pole men's hearts are truly failing them for fear bayathinal manidrudaiya hridayangal karaindu poigirathu yes but anal lekin your eyes my eyes will have to see the king ungalude kannalum ennude kannum rajave paarkka vendum yes amen amen may god open our eyes devanam kangalai therakkattu may god open our eyes devanam kangalai therakkattu i said that there are many things to share naan payindukolla pala karyangal irundhu but is so 
But may God open our eyes to see our calling in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let the none of us be like Esau of old. Who was more concerned about his food than his calling. He was concerned about his practical life. You know practical life? My practical situation of my hunger. That inheritance. Yes. He didn't care for his birthright. He didn't care for his inheritance. His belly was his God. Paul uses that term in his writing. Whose God is their belly. Be careful. Lest. We become part of such a thing. That appetite, that desire for which we sell our birthright, our calling in Christ Jesus. That is what Paul had to say to the Corinthians. Don't you know that you will judge the world? If so, why don't you regulate your very life? Saints of God, God has called you to this hill. These are days to come up and climb up. Yes. As I said, there are many things to share, but I would close here today. I want to tell you, the vision is certain. And the Zopanam Nichiya. Yes. And the interpretation is sure. And the Zopanam Satyam Nichiya. Amen. Artham Nichiya. It will come to pass. And the Nichiya Mai Nereverum. I want to tell you, God will break in to the history of this world. Nan Soligre in the Vulagatin Rajat, they will end the Vulever War. Yes. And Colossians 1 settles it for us in this new covenant times, brothers and sisters. Yes, in him were all things created. All things have been created through him and unto him. And he is before all things. And in him all things hold together as some translation says. In him all things hold together. In him all things hold together. Together. Yeah. In him. All things. Hold together. Where there is no vision. There is nothing to hold you. 
There's nothing to hold him. He holds all things together. Amen. He holds. Where there is no vision, people go into pieces. But where you have the vision of Christ and the church, you will be held together. There is cohesive power to hold our lives together. And he is destined by the eternal counsels of God. Ultimately to have preeminence over all things. And he is the head of the body. The church. Amen. What a tremendous expression that is. And he is the head of the body. Which is the church. Saints of God. I am going to conclude here. Unto this end. The Lord brought you in. Amen. Behold what you see. Yes. Set your heart on those things which you see. Set your heart on those things, brothers and sisters. Remember your calling. Such a precious call. You didn't earn it. It came to you. Amen. It came to you. In and through his salvation. How can you escape if you neglect? Let's not be like Esau. Later on, when he even desired. He could not find a place of repentance. Thank you, Jesus. So, Colossians, in a spiritual way, sums up the visions of Daniel. Praise God. Hallelujah. God will break in the very history of this world. Don't be fearful of the end. End is certain. He is the, on the throne. He is the only the on the throne. And he will establish kingdom upon this world. Amen. And the saints of the ancient or the, of the most high shall be given power and dominion over all things. So it is time for, for you and me like Daniel of old to come into that kingdom now. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Not naturally but morally and spiritually. Amen. Look at the power Daniel had over even the kings. That is the superiority of the kingdom of God. May God help us. So shall we all stand up in His presence? Lord Jesus. We are going to sing a song. Uh, what is that song? It is the time to take the kingdom. Yes. It is the time. Yes or no? Yes. 
Hallelujah. Shall we all stand up in His presence? I know that you are very sad I stopped early. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To take the kingdom. Yeah, let's take the right pitch. It is the time to take the kingdom.
Hallelujah, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name. Let's not sell our birthright for a little pottage. For something earthly. For some appetite of our natural man. For oh, that will of yours. Thank you, Jesus. Paul says, Remember your calling, brother. Not many wise, not many mighty. But God has chosen the base things. Things which are not. Hallelujah. Does it humble you? That's why men who have seen this great vision of God and His purpose. They were meek men, humble men. Thank you, Jesus. Pray in our hearts, Lord, open my spiritual eyes. To see your dominion, your reign in this universe. Where you will have your dominion, your kingdom together with your church. Lord, all that we see today is a pageantry. Yes, 
आज जो कुछ अपने चारों तरफ देखते हैं वो मनोरंजन मात्र पॉम एंड शो एंड माइट ऑफ मैन लाइक इन स्क्रीन जैसे किसी स्क्रीन पे कुछ Oh God, let's cry out to our God and say, Lord, deliver us from these things which often influence us and bring fear into our hearts. Deliver us, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you will break into the history of this universe. The history of this world, you will break into God in your time. You will break into the history of this world, of God. Yes, Lord. And you will say it's enough. It's enough. It's time for my judgments. It's time to bring in my kingdom. And the saints of the most high to sit with me in judgment. Hallelujah. Who have arrayed themselves in fine linen, white and clean. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a calling, my brothers. I want to tell you, for eyes are open to see Christ and the church. I tell you, it lifts you from everything that is earthly. Look at how precious church is in the economy of God, in the planet. Shall we all pray to God? Lord, open my spiritual eyes. Open my eyes to God. I want to remain in this mountain, Lord. I want to walk with you in this relationship, Lord. I do not want this to be a false mountain in my life, Lord Jesus. A thing that will fade away after these gatherings this afternoon, Lord. A vision that will disappear in moments of my trials, my situations, my temptations, Lord. My decisions and choices. But this vision will remain in my life, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It will remain in my life. That's what I want, Lord, today. I want such a work to be done in me, Lord. I want to set my heart on it, therefore. Open my eyes, Lord. And I will set my heart on those things you will open my eyes to see. Let that be our prayer. Let that be our prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There are hearts commune with Him. As we stand before Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, your life will be changed. After several years, God brought you and me to this gathering. Call us up to the mountain. 
और उसमें पर्वत के ऊपर उसके साथ पर्वत पे रहे ऊंचे स्थानों में रहे Let not our hearts be empty, but our hearts be open to Him, that He may fill it. हमारे हृदय खाली न रहे बल्कि खुले रहे ताकि वो उनको भर सके यस हम अपने हृदय को खुला रखे ताकि वो खाली हृदय को भर सके और ही मे फिल अस विथ हिमसेल्फ हाउ ताकि वो अपनी चीजों से आप हमारे हृदय को भर सके Behold him as in a mirror, even today, in the mirror of the Word, and be changed, brothers and sisters. आज भजन के दर्पण में आप उसे देखें और उसको देखने के द्वारा बदल जाएं. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I will not turn aside as smoking flax and I will not neglect a broken reed said the Lord thy God Lumakhandiya Sakai I will turn and I will heal and I will restore said the Lord thy God और मैं छूंगा और तुम्हें बाहर करूंगा आई एम हियर टू हील दी टू बाइंड दी 